Silence of the Lambs is a 1991 film based on a novel of the same name by Thomas Harris. It received high acclaim upon its release and is seen as one of the most well-known horror movies. There are many things in this film that make it so iconic decades after its release, but some of its strongest aspects are its story and the performance given, performance given by Jodie Foster and Anthony Hopkins. While the story is a line-by-line -line retelling of Harris's novel, the film does not suffer for it. Silence of the Lambs is about an FBI agent working with a serial killer to catch another killer and save his most recent victim. Although the film did not invent the concept of using a criminal to catch another criminal, and it has certainly been done before and since, this film, this film is a very well-known version of this trope. The film itself is a unique type of horror movie. What I mean is that it does not rely on jump scares or excessive gore to scare its audience. And, though, and although it does feature serial killers, the most dangerous of them, Hannibal Lecter, spends most of his time in a prison cell. Still, the film is very quick to remind the audience that, despite his relatively calm demeanor, he is still very much a killer. Which leads me to the acting in this film. In 1992, Silence of the Lambs won several Oscars. One of these was Best Actress, which went, for Jod which went to Jodie Foster for her performance as Clarice Starling. Foster's performance is incredibly emotional. When the audience is first introduced to Clarice, we see her as a strong person, both both physically and mentally. However, as the film goes on, we see that there is much more to her than that. One, mo one moment that stands out is when she meets with Lecter and describes to him in detail one of her most painful memories. She starts to cry, and you get the impression that this is as hard for Foster as it is for Clarice. Another performance that stands out is Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter, who also won an Oscar. When Lecter is first introduced, the audience is made aware of the fact that he is a violent psychopath. When we first see him, he is gentle and polite to Clarice, which juxtaposes the impression we had of him earlier on. Minutes, la minutes later, however, he repeatedly insults Clarice and her southern upbringing after noticing relatively insignificant detail details about her, showing both Clarice and the audience that he is still dangerous. Hopkins brings a great deal of depth to Lecter, and his performance is one of the reasons why the film is so well regarded even today.